Hey guys, in this video, we're gonna be crowning the king of worship pads. If you're like me, you've been using these ambient MP3 pads in your worship sets for years. It's probably been about 15 years for me back whenever Carl Vercade came out with his guitar ambient pads uh, for free. I think they're still out there somewhere actually. Um, but I've used so many over the years and you know, you can spend a lot of time just digging through these and figuring out like, which one of these are, should I actually spend money on? So I did the legwork for you. I've bought these, I've used these over the years, and so we're putting four of my top creators to the test to battle it out to be the king of worship pads. And here's the other part. I'm throwing out there my free pads that I've made, and we're gonna throw those in the mix as well so you can hear those. You can get those in the description of this video. There's other free pads out there on the internet, so I'm not saying that mine are what you need to get. It's just another option. So let's let you hear these worship pads all by themselves to kind of give you an idea of what you'd be getting if you purchased these. So each of those pads sounds great, right? Let's talk about the four that I've chosen to kind of go up against each other. And I chose these because they're kind of all rounders from my favorite creators of pads. That first pad you're hearing is from Worship Tutorials and they have so many pads available on their website. But I went back to the old school original pads that they have available. They've had them on there for a long, long time. And I like this pad, it's got um, a little bit of movement throughout with some different sounds to kind of keep it interesting. Uh, it doesn't have too much of the frequencies like taken up, like it's not tons of bass or tons of highs. So I feel like it does fit well with a lot of a lot of different music and maybe you've used these pads. Um, but I don't know, sometimes I wonder if those movements can kind of get in the way if you're doing a song like maybe Jesus Paid It All from Christian Stanfield that goes to that two minor. Like I feel like sometimes it sounds a little off there. But um, let's look at the second pad that you've been hearing, which is from Sunday Sounds. Sunday Sounds has three different pads that they offer, warm pads, bright pads, dark pads, and they say the warm pads are designed to suit almost any song. So they're always a good to go, go to choice. And I think that's true. They, they're a nice full without being like taking up too much space, but they don't change a lot. And so it's a good balance of the bright and dark. Uh, it's definitely just a warm pad. So I think it's a solid pad. Um, and then the third pad that you're hearing there is from Churchfront. Churchfront is similar to Worship Tutorials. They have a lot of different pads. Uh, they also, like Worship Tutorials, offers like a bundle pack. Uh, so does Sunday Sounds, where you can maybe pay 100 bucks and get all their pads. But I just don't feel like I ever need that many. Like I just need like a solid pad that I can go to usually. And so we chose the full pad and I, it's, it lives up to its name. It may be a little too full for most things. And it fills a lot of the frequency spectrum, a lot of lows, a lot of highs. And it's kind of got these weird little sawtooth scent things that maybe come in and out every once in a while. That's just how it happened on the one that I've purchased from them called their full pads. The fourth one comes from Abel Mendoza from That Worship Sound. He puts out great stuff. We've used his main stage template for years and it has great built in just, uh, what do they call that? You know, where it's just a pad that you can click, a uh, drone pad kind of thing. But I went with Motion Pads 4 and as you can kind of hear there, it has a lot of breathiness, a lot of stereo air in there and it doesn't take up very much space. But, you know, it's probably just a taste thing. So, and then that fifth pad is the pad that I designed in Reason, which is using some different maelstroms and synthesizers and delays and reverbs. And I, I want you to know that whenever I've done these tests, 
that I'm not doing them just over headphones or over speakers in my office or AirPods. I've taken these into both of our venues, our main house of worship and our student center, played them over the loudspeakers, listened to them in context, you know, and tried to, with my pads, scoop out certain EQs to make it make sure it's not taking up too much space or being overbearing in a mid-range or something like that. And so that's the context that I'm judging these in. So now what I want to do is move on to the next test to let you guys be the judge. Uh, we're going to play that same section of pads, but this time with just like an invitation piano type style music on top of it. And so give it a listen and comment below which one you think is the best one. So there you go. There's pads underneath an invitation type style, a meditative moment maybe where no one's talking. It's just contemplative and you can use those pads so well in that environment. Now these pads that you were hearing just then were all in the key of C. We're going to do one more test and then I'm going to crown what I believe is the king of pads. This one's going to be over in E flat and this is more of I want to speak some scripture on top of tracks that have just an acoustic guitar and piano and see how these fit in that style of mix. So let's give it a try. You guys comment below which one is your favorite. Come let us sing for joy to the Lord. Let us shout aloud to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before him with thanksgiving and extol him with music and song. For the Lord is the great God, the great King above all gods. In his hands are the depths of the earth and the mountain peaks, they belong to him. The sea is his for he made it and his hands, they formed the dry land. So come, let us bow down in worship. Let us kneel before the Lord, our maker, for he is our God. And we are the people of his pasture, the flock under his care. So today, if only you would hear his voice, do not harden your hearts. So that's what it would sound like underneath some scripture being read. So there you go. There's a good test of just, you know, scripture being read on top of a sparse instrumentalist. But let's get down to it. Who am I going to crown the worship pad king? Well, if you're forcing me to choose, I'm probably going to place that crown on the OG worship tutorials. Man, they just offer so many different pads and uh, the bundle, 100 bucks for all of their different pads, their minor keys and everything. Those have come in handy, handy sometimes, like at uh, Good Friday services, things like that. But these pads specifically, they're like their oldest ones, but I still really like them and use them. And they just work well with so many different songs. I would say a close second for me is probably Sunday Sounds. And something that you want to consider is the new iPad app that Sunday Sounds has come out with. Man, the flexibility of the pad in there is, is really cool. But I really like these warm pads from them. I'm glad that I've purchased them, and I'm, I can see us using those a lot in the future. Uh, third place, I'm going to go with Abel Mendoza. Uh, I really like how his are a little bit different. You know, they have this like stereo imagery, more, more breathiness, um, kind of that shimmery feel. Uh, that I think can work well with certain songs. And then uh, just the, the church front pads that I chose, uh, I'm going to put those in fourth place. They're still really good because they made it to the battle. And I'm sure that some of their other stuff is great as well. These guys also offer free options out there if you want to dig around on their websites. But, uh, you know, I'm offering those free pads. So all you have to do is submit your email address. If you're already a subscriber to the email list, 
you already got the links in your inbox. So go find those. And like I always like to say, we can do a lot of great things, right? We can use these tools because that's what they are. Use the tool, don't be a tool. But we can do a lot of great things. Let's remember to do it all for God's glory. All right, guys, we'll see you in the next one.